Hey, hello there. It's a much nicer climate a little further down south. After four unsuccessful attempts at trying to get to my claim, I just said, ah, heck with it. I'm going to drive three hours and go to Quinell and hit the public tanning reserve. So, here I find myself in green grass, birds chirping, and the mighty Fraser River in flood stage. I hope I find some gold. I doubt it, but you never know. But that's the whole thing. We're here for an adventure. We're here for a good time. You know. And uh, if you can't, you know, have a good time while you're doing it, <laughs> you're not doing it right. So here I am. I'm going to make the best out of it today. It won't be much, but it will be something. And besides, I haven't done video in a while. And I really want to do another one. Ooh, rocks. That's another thing I got to do too, is I got to do another video about my rock polishers. My tumbling room. I got all sorts of stuff on the go in my basement. It's pretty interesting. Hmm. My backpack's going to be a little bit heavier when I leave. That's the way it goes. Well, I'm going to hike upstream here along the riverbank if I can. And then I'm going to sample some gravel. To be honest, this probably this spot right here is not too shabby. I could probably get away with digging a shovel full right here. But I'm going to go a little bit closer to the water course and where another creek comes into the Fraser here. And see what I get there. I think walking along the river might not be as practically feasible as I was hoping. But there is quad tracks, so hey, you know, if a quad can make it in here, a bipedal human being should be able to. What do we have here? Auto parts. Garbage. Plastic. Sleeping bags, clothing. Still gonna bring this one home though. That one, that, that's a little too big. The locals are greeting me. I think that's nice. Hopefully they're friendly. Well, this guy's got a whole pile of character to it, doesn't it? So I packed a pretty light kit today. The idea behind that was easy to move around, easy to use a camera, and more practical, uh, more common. It's easier for somebody just to carry a classifier or a small shovel, uh, e even uh, a pair of rubber gloves I'm using because uh, this is, you know, early May, it's the Fraser River, and gee, I wonder why the river is all brown. Yeah, that's, that's melted snow pushing dirt. It's not water, it's cold. This place astounds me in how uh, much garbage and debris there is here. Human's impact on Mother Nature is quite disturbing. In my region, uh, we uh, people haven't been mucking around in the bush or easily able to get out there. So there isn't as much of this kind of spoiling. And, uh, I'm not used to it. I like seeing pristine and clean. I don't like seeing garbage. If I would have known there was this much junk out here, I, I would have done something about it. This bothers me. I like keeping BC beautiful. We have a wonderful, beautiful province here. and We need to preserve it, keep it, and value it and cherish it because it's important. It's the head of a good bar. In any bar on this river, they say, should have something. So, we're going to dig somewhere around here. So I'm going to look for a grouping of rocks. Something large. Uh, four or five the size of a basketball. Something with lots of natural uh, sediment around it. Something that shows me it's been there for a while. And then I'll know. Alright, ah, I see it. See my spot. I know where I'm going. See big rocks. Whoa. What's this guy? That's something really different. You're a keeper. 
That's the keeper. Alright. Stepping near the big rocky spot. So near this area here. No out much larger, more predominant rock. There's also a good clay base here too. Which could be problematic because everybody hates panning clay. So now we're gonna try to find us a natural kind of keeper, a riffle system. Something that'll keep this gold trap here. I think I'm just gonna try here. Sure. Yep. Out here in the flow, right by the base of this tree. I think that's the spot. That's the spot for me. Alright, I'm gonna put this pan down here on these rocks. Close my gear down. Put this thing down. I'm old. Color. Just a little bit of the shiny in there. Don't want to do that. Just because I can enjoy the day. What I'll probably end up doing from now on is I will pan this down most of the way and I will just literally wash it right into this jar. Might as well just bring this home pan out with this little girl. Oh, a little piece floaty way. Ah, turning out to be a beautiful day here. 
It was quite ugly. Several years ago, I came out here with my daughter to go panning. We were on the other side of the river. And, uh, wasn't that bad. I think there's probably more colors in the pan here. That's awesome. Rocket. Pan number two. Not bad, not bad. Oh no! I wonder how many snuffer balls have succumbed to the mighty Fraser. There we go. Showing my hands. What's a neat one? Nope, no big nugget. Dang it! And number three. Not too bad. What the heck is this? That is wild. That's the neatest rock of the trip. That one's definitely got to go into a jumbler. I hope that takes a polish. Holy shit. Dad, you cool. Yeah. They say we're not allowed to use a sluice box because it puts too much stuff into the river. Maybe we could just have a sluice box season when the runoff is going and it's already silty. Oh, I sloshed water into the glove. My thumb is now officially wet. Poor left thumb. You can't beat me! I pan like a butterfly and I'm golden like a bee. Alright. Get down to three little nitty gritties here. I'm just bringing into my little final gold pan and clean over here. Unfortunately, life has other plans for the fellow.